and Hello, I'm Pete and this is a little EX650 that's coming with a, a slightly blocked carburetor. I'm just going to start it up so you can hear the symptoms for yourself. Straight away, you can probably hear it hunting up and down a little bit. I've got a, a load bank here and it's all rumbling. Now, there with a little load on it, you can hear it's all nice and even. Take the load off, and here it goes all rough and hunting up and down. Load on, evens out here. Well, that's a um, pretty good indication there's a blockage in the idle jet of the carburetor. If the, uh, if the hunting was just happening when it was on load, then it would indicate a blockage in the main jet. Either way, the solution is the same. You take the um, take the carburetor off and put it in the ultrasonic cleaner to clean it all out. So we take the, the plastic back off, and get that out of the way, just turn on with a couple of clips and then to get the carburetor itself we need to remove this, this whole um, metal case on the front. There's a screw here and uh, another one just like it there that we need to undo. So we'll, we'll start off by taking those out. And then there's two um, plugs, electrical plugs here, have little tags on the side. You press the tags in and just wiggle the plug off. It comes off very easily. Those two need to come off. Here is the fuel line to the carburetor. We need to remove that. I just use a pair of forceps and kind of um, lever it up. And that comes off. And then also, just there, there's the um, there we can see, there's the uh, the choke cable there, which uh, has got a spring on it. You pull the spring forward, lift the cable up, and it comes out of a slot in the top of the choke lever. So that's very easy to get that off. And that is just about everything we need to do around the back. Then if we go around the front of the machine, two more little screws. You need an eight mm socket to just uh, to remove those. And then up the top here uh, is the, um, the pull start guide. We need to, it's got two little Phillips type screws in there that we just need to, uh, to remove. And just give that a tug and the, uh, the guide will come out like that and just post it in through the hole. Push that through the hole, and then we should be ready to just uh, lift the whole case off like that, and we'll put that down there out of the way, and uh, if I turn that around there, I can show you, here is the carburetor, uh, in order to take the carburetor off, we need to remove the governor arm, but because this part of the case is in the way of sliding the governor arm off, we're going to have to just lift the whole machine out of its out of its cradle, and we do that by undoing um, these two nuts on the bottom that secure it in the cradle. So we we'll just do that. That will enable us to lift this end of the machine up. We can put a little screwdriver under there to hold things in place, and you can see that now we can get all of this to take it off. So, with a 10 mil spanner, we just loosen that clamp bolt, okay, and just slide it off. That's it. Now it's got it's attached to a the governor spring there down the bottom and there's a linkage up the top. We just wiggle it all about and it will come free. Now we've uh, we just retrieved the governor spring so it doesn't 
zoom off into infinity and there it is put that to one side then we want to remove the air box the air box cover just on clips uh, looks like gremlins have run away with the um, air filter which would normally live in here uh, and this one doesn't seem to be one but uh, there's two nuts in there we need to undo whiz those off and put that to one side two spacers on there that we need to just take off and a metalised get that out of the way metalised washer to take off okay and at that point we should be able to just remove the whole carb like that and we'll just move the rest of it out of the way for the minute and if we can just zoom in a bit on the carburetor okay that'll do now this little linkage here was uh, the one between the governor arm and the uh, and the throttle lever there uh, it doesn't matter which way around it goes same both ways we'll just put that to one side so we don't lose it and then what we'll do is remove the float bowl of the cover out with a 10 mil spanner just to undo that nut that's got a little fibre washer on there that we don't want to lose so we'll pull that to the side and there the float bowl it doesn't look too bad in there but it doesn't take much to, uh, to block a carburetor. I'll just mop up some of this uh, petrol. Okay. Right, now this is the float. It's held in place by this little pin. It's here, so you just so you pull that pin out. There you go, and uh, we'll put that to one side. And then the float will just come off like that. Put that to one side. and that's left behind it's just dropped out here is the float needle and that's that little uh, where well you can see that in uh, in my video I don't know but in the top of the float needle you might just be able to see it is a little plunger now that little plunger it's important that that you press that down and it springs back up again if it doesn't if it's jammed in or anything just try boiling that up in the bleaching water for 10 minutes and uh, usually that'll uh, that'll uh, you know un ungum it if it doesn't well you probably need another one and here we've got the main jet if it's if it's if, the, if this had been hunting on load we'd have thought that perhaps this main jet was blocked but either way we're just going to take that out and put that to one side up the top here we've got the throttle stop screw, we need to take that out all together ok, put that to one side this is the um, slow running idle adjustment mixture screw take that out completely and then that leaves us with this which is the idle jet it's uh, a little brass jet we take that out ok, put that to one side and there we've stripped the carburetor down to its sort of bare parts. So what we're going to do, we'll show you the bits we're going to put that main, I'll take that pipe off for now. We're going to put that main um, carburetor body in the ultrasonic cleaner and that main jet. And of course the idle jet and the float needle. And we might as well put that float bowl in there as well. So now we're just going to put all those in the ultrasonic cleaner here and start that up and put all those in and we'll come back in 20 minutes and put it all back together again. 